place in this world where that won't be true. I, I don't think we're we'll getting in our generation, but maybe in the next generation mm -hmm. might be able to get well, there. And, and, and that's where, um, I know Stacy's talked about it this way too before, but where you, know, you have to protect the rights of the minorities from the, from the uh, tyranny of the majority. That's right. And that's mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the fairness of it, that you know, we're just looking to live our lives, we're looking to have the same opportunities, the same you know, every, as, as anyone else. You know, it's, it's not a matter of being treated specially, it's a matter of trying to um, not be treated as second-class citizens, to right. not be discriminated against mm -hmm. in normal daily activities, trying to get housing. Yeah. You know, trying to get, trying to do banking, <laughs> right. you know, because the teller doesn't want to wait on you. I mean, it's absurd that that should be an issue. But in states where it's not, um, where it's not um, explicitly listed what the rules are, people get away with it. They do. Right. And that's yeah. why it needs to be clear that in the state of Connecticut, it's not okay to discriminate on someone. Uh, discriminate against someone based on their gender identity or their gender expression. That's right. Yeah. Well, when I um, started going to sport groups, you know, uh, I was, from my background, was white male upper class. You know, I was a manager of a um, testing department, and I never really felt prejudiced before. But once I started transitioning, <laughs> um, I was going to sport groups, and I was hearing people get fired. You know, yeah. and told to, to leave the, you know, the store because we didn't want your kind here. And that's what got me into um, being an activist. I, I never chose to be. It just kind of slowly drifted to that, that space um, yeah. just by asking, what can I do to help? Yeah. And you, you start to find your friends getting picked on, and you right. want to do something about right. it. It's pretty natural. You know, they come into the support group, and one day they say, well, you know, I'm telling work tomorrow that I'm going to be transitioning. And the next meeting, you find out they've been fired. You know? And yeah. just you see all this injustice, and you look around and you try to see how you can help. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's it's a funny thing, um, and and I'm I'm a little bit ashamed of this. You know that in my former life, when I was that other thing, what, what was that other thing? <laughs> mispackaged. That, that mispackaged thing. Yeah, when I, when I had that birth defect. Um, you know, I didn't pay, I, I, and I'm ashamed of this, I didn't pay enough attention. You know, I didn't pay attention to the people that were being discriminated against, the minorities and, and, and women. And, and honestly, there were times when I probably did sort of get into that mindset because I was trying very hard back in those days. I was trying to make believe that I was one of them and I wasn't. But um, it didn't work, obviously. <laughs> but um, You failed miserably. I failed miserably at that. <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, I, I, I sort of, you know, tried, I kind of fell into that mindset a little bit. And you it's do. like... You I'm actually drive yourself there yeah. in order to fit in, in order to blend yeah, exactly. in. Exactly. Right. And, uh, you know, once I transitioned, I started realizing, it's like, oh my God, you know, the stuff that these people were telling me, the stuff that these people were, you know, that, you know, I started to, to really feel more of a connection to, you know, to, to the minorities and, and, yeah. and, you know, women, because I came to realize that, you know, that that discrimination is very very real. Yeah. You know, hopefully right. it's it's better than it used to be and hopefully every day it gets better. Right. But we're not there yet and and there is a lot of discrimination out there. Right. And and it is real. It's, it's funny um one of the um women that I used to work with, she was kidding at the time. It was very funny. But she said to me when I told her that I was transitioning, she said, she at, at my job, she said um she said why do you want to do that? They're going to treat you like a secretary and cut your pay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, and it was funny, but it's maybe it's not all that funny. Yeah, because yeah. it came true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was the same thing. I have a a, a, a female friend. When I uh, when I came out, I had a bunch of people over. My boss came over. A bunch of my friends came over, and um, this female friend of mine, uh, Kristen, she and I went through school together, we, we got student jobs together, we even started our work at the same company. Um, and she, she looks at my boss at the party and she goes, so, you're going to dock her pay 13% now? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Oh. It's yeah. not right. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it brings into a, into a sharp contrast those kinds of things. I looked at my boss and I said, well, I guess I just got a 13% pay raise, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to. It doesn't. Uh, I, I've known several trans people that came out at work, and they, um, work was accepting. And yeah. It yeah. Was, they did everything to make their transition go smoothly. And um, it all depends on the, the climate of the, of the company. Right. You know, if they're for diversity, that they will, you know, stick behind you. Yeah. And I think companies that don't want to upset an apple cart, you know, where, where, where I work, they, they, they sort of just let it happen. You know, this is what they had to do legally to make sure there, it was an, in, in zero tolerance anti-discrimination workplace, and they just let me happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good evening, and I'll see Trans, you're on the air. Oh, yes. Hello. I was uh, interested in what's the difference between cross-dressing and, and transgender. I understand transgender and cross-dressing, but how do you look at it? Do you even discriminate against cross-dresses in the transgender world? Does that happen? Um, and we, I'm wondering, what do you, what, what's the difference and what do you do as a person? Because so many are in the closet, they can't come out because of family, because of jobs, yeah. Yeah. because of society. Absolutely. And, and I think that's, that's the saddest thing is that is. people can't be who they want to be when they want to be it. And I'm still interested in the amount of discrimination within the transgender and cross-dressing uh, community. <laughs> right, right. And, and I'd like and to know, if for people that have the issue of being in cross-dressing situation, and where do you go? How do you get help? Is it a bad place to be if you don't know if you want to go all the way, but right, if you want right. to be who you are? And if you still enjoy being a cross-dresser compared to transgender, and does cross-dressing lead into transgender? Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Th thank, thank you. you. Thank That's you. a great question. And, um, yeah. Have yes. a good night. Bye-bye. Uh, thank good you. Night. Thank you for the call. And to answer the question, or at least I'll start. I will start. <laughs> I will probably hand it off. But, um, but we as a group do, certainly do not discriminate against anybody. And we welcome right. members of the, the, uh, members of the, the broad um, gender community and people outside <laughs> of the gender community into our organization. And we, we do not certainly discriminate against cross-dressers. But there, there, is, um, there is a huge difference between the various, uh, various types of people that, are with, that fall within that umbrella of the trans, right. of the gender community. And, um, and, and yes, there is, certain there is a lot of discrimination. Right. And there, is, yeah. there is a lot of animosity. I can tell you, there's animosity between um, the, the, the... CDTS um, wars. The, yeah, the, the, my, I have a friend in Montreal that refers to it as the, the, um, the TVTS wars. TVTS wars. Um, because there is animosity between um, uh, cross-dressers um, mm -hmm. and, um, and or transvestites, and, and they're not the same thing. But um, but uh, there is animosity between the different uh, factions within the gender community, and, the, mm -hmm. and there is some certainly some animosity between transsexuals and cross-dressers. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. We do not practice that. We are <laughs> we are yeah. very open and affirming, and we um, we welcome everybody. But uh, but you're absolutely right. There is discrimination there. Yeah. The um, there's there's discrimination within the GLBT community sometimes too. Yes. Right. Um, that that to take take the caller's question more broadly, um, I think generally speaking, and, and there there are people that disagree with um, how def how some of the definitions get defined. But generally speaking, transgender is used as an umbrella term to describe the the broader gender nonconforming community. Right. If you cross gender norms in any sort of way, then, then broadly speaking, you're transgendered. Mm 